Cyber Optics is fundamentally a sensor technology company playing in two vertical markets, uh, semiconductors and SMT, which is PCB manufacturing, electronics manufacturing market. We make high precision sensors and inspection and metrology systems for those two markets. Cyber Optics has always been viewed as a technology leader. We have always pioneered uh, new innovative ways of looking at different things, uh, sensing, uh, detection, so on, in both uh, electronics manufacturing as well as semiconductor industry. We have an extensive patent portfolio of more than 70 patents. Uh, we are a global company. For a company of our size, more than 70% of our revenues come from outside the US. Most of, most of our revenues come from Asia, which is where most of high-speed manufacturing happens which is where our sensors get used to improve yield and productivity. SMT market is at an interesting juncture right now. A lot of uh, changes are happening. Uh, new products are getting launched in electronics, primarily driven by the smartphone industry, but also other industries. I mean, cloud uh, deployment, AI deployment is all, all impacting SMT industry. Parts are getting smaller, circuits are getting denser. That creates unique opportunities for inspection and metrology companies like us. So things that didn't need to be inspected five years and certainly 10 years ago now need to be inspected. Not only do they need to be inspected, then sometimes you need to measure the gaps between the chips or the passive components. So it's an exciting time for electronics inspection companies like ourselves right now, where the demand is very high and continues to grow as, as more complex products get developed and launched. Semiconductors is going through an exciting growth phase right now. Uh, as many of you have seen in the news, uh, demand for chips is incredibly high right now, uh, partly driven by the pandemic situation where many people, as they stayed home, they started using their electronic devices more and more. They needed more bandwidth, and that has really led to a serious surge in demand for chips. Uh, chip capacity takes a long time to put in place, and so right now, more and more capacity is being put in place, but it's still not catching up with the demand. So right now, SemiCap, which is the uh, capital equipment that is spent to make semiconductor chips, is at an all-time record high, and it is expected to grow another 15 to 20 percent this year in 2021, and another 15 to 20 percent in 2022. Uh, projections are uncertain beyond 2022, but as of today, everyone thinks that the unprecedented demand we are seeing for chips will continue for the foreseeable future. So semiconductor inspection and SMT inspection are kind of merging right now. And there is a gray zone that is emerging. Of, uh, a good example of that is take your latest smartphone. It doesn't have a conventional PCB anymore. It has got basically a bunch of advanced packages that are strung together. And that creates a gray zone between semi and SMT inspection. And a lot of it is get, gets created because of uh, the third dimension that has been invoked in the semiconductor industry. Historically, semiconductor just shrank the chip uh, in two dimensions. Now they are beginning to put the third dimension in place. So stiff chips are getting stacked on top of each other and heterogeneous inter interconnections are being developed right now in advanced packaging area where you are bringing not only the chips but also passive components together in vertical dimensions. And that is creating complex packages. The great advantage is you are getting tremendous improvement in speed and processing and, and cost and all those factors, but it does create complex structures which frankly is good for inspection companies like us because they need to inspect 100% sometimes what they are stacking or what they are doing in heterogeneous interactions. So a lot of, lot of exciting innovation happening in the advanced packaging world right now, which is kind of a hybrid between SEMI and SMT. And we are finding a lot of exciting opportunities in that space right now. MRS stands for multi-reflection separation. As the name suggests, we are effectively suppressing different reflections of light. Light is a, has a nasty property of reflecting from any shiny surfaces and creates a lot of problems for us when we are using light to detect things. And MRS does a very good job of suppressing the artificial noises that we are getting and focusing ourselves on the signal of, of the device. Uh, with MRS, we have been able to improve resolution and accuracy and speed concurrently. So you can find very high speed sensors which are low resolution and accuracy, or you can find very high accuracy resolution sensors, but low in speed. MRS is the combination of the best of both worlds. So we have, you get high accuracy and, and resolution at the same time, you can get high speed, which is very important for these demanding applications. So MRS technology, we launched it in 2015, 2016, the first generation of MRS technology in two markets, uh, SMT inspection, which is where we launched our 3D AOI product SQ3000 for basically 3D AOI applications. 
Along with it, we also launched our first generation MRS technology with KLA for the back end semiconductor inspection. Since then, we have improved the technology significantly. Resolutions and accuracies have improved, speeds have improved, and the number of applications we service has broadened out significantly. So today we have our Gen 2 MRS technology, if you will, with better resolution, accuracy, and speed. And we are servicing a lot of applications. Not only are we continuing to do 3D AOI, but in addition to that, we introduced uh, CMM metrology functions. So we are in, not only inspecting, but we are measuring distances between the parts. And that has enabled some interesting applications like socket metrology for CPU, or mini micro LED inspection and metrology for advanced displays that are coming along. We have commercialized MRS technology right now for memory module inspection. So the final inspection step and memory modules are being put together by memory fabs right now. Uh, along with it in the semiconductor, on the semiconductor side, uh, in addition to the conventional backend inspection we started uh, with KLA, we have broadened our application list to include mid-end inspection now. So advanced packaging inspection, uh, along with heterogeneous inspections and so on. So a lot more applications with these new generations of MRS technology sensors we are coming up with now. So one of the key areas CyberOptics has invested in uh, besides our MRS technology is WaferSense technology. So we continue to invest in it. We have seven applications we are servicing right now. Most of WaferSense gets sold to the front end fabs right now for these seven applications. Uh, we do anything from gap detection for etching or deposition to humidity detection in implant or litho or any of the other applications. Exciting portfolio of uh, seven applications. The business continues to do very well. It's growing solid double digits over the last many years. And right now with the very healthy semi-cap market, we are seeing accelerated growth for WaferSense products right now. We launched IPS uh, last year. Uh, it was primarily designed, it is a, a derivative of our particle sensor in the WaferSense portfolio, but it is intended to be stay in line, particularly in the pumping system. Uh, it gets primarily used by EUV customers right now. EUV is a new step that is the critical step that enables the latest, smallest nodes in semiconductor fabs, the three nanometer and five nanometer nodes. In doing EUV, they are extremely sensitive to particle count. Even the slightest amount of particles they get in the EUV step can lead to catastrophic losses. So they want to monitor particles very carefully throughout the EUV process. And that's where our IPS product comes in. It sits in the pumping system of the EUV. It's continuously monitoring particles anywhere from half a micron to above, and it's giving them real-time feedback on what the particle counts is. So if they see a spike in that, they know something is not going right and they have to flush the system with nitrogen or argon to clean out the system before they continue to process. So cyber optics sensing portfolio is primarily designed to help our customers with yield and productivity and throughput. Our, our solutions get viewed by the customers in terms of their return on their investment. So we are enabling them to get the best out of their processes. So we are inspecting, we are measuring, we are providing them real-time feedback if in, in the wafer sense case, and we are helping them dial down their processes so they are running the most efficient they can. So our overall value add to the customer is their ROI, if you will. 2020 was a very challenging year for the whole world, as we all know, given the pandemic situation and what happened starting March of 2020. Uh, given that backdrop, I'm very proud to say cyber optics performed exceptionally well with that backdrop. We not only took care of our employees and kept our facilities going, uh, maintaining all the norms that one would expect us to do. Uh, but in addition to that, we, we actually did very well on the business front. So the company grew 18% year over year in 2020. Profits improved along with it, cash position improved, uh, and our market shares continue to do better in the, in the areas where we compete. So given the backdrop of global pandemic, we believe we did exceptionally well. We are really excited about 2021 and the opportunities it is bringing. Exciting time for the world, the global economy is improving, uh, things are opening up, but particularly semiconductor industry and electronics inspection industry is growing very rapidly right now. With that healthy backdrop, we are really excited about what we can do in 2021. We feel we are very well positioned with our current portfolio and the new innovations that we are coming with to again deliver solid growth in 2021 and beyond. Uh, it's an exciting time, frankly, in the whole semi and electronics inspection and with our technologies, two differentiated technologies, MRS and WaferSense, we are quite excited to continue to penetrate the markets and deliver solid growth.
Longer term, cyber optics will continue to do what it is good at, which is very high end sensing solutions and inspection systems for the two markets at least. Uh, electronics inspection and semiconductors. We may choose to diversify into bigger markets, more markets. But frankly, right now we are we have our hands full meeting the demand for our solutions in those two markets. So for the foreseeable future, expect us to keep innovating, keep coming up with new products, new technologies, uh, staying in the general ballpark of MRS and WaferSense two technology platforms in the two vertical markets, semiconductor inspection as well as SMT inspection but higher speeds, higher resolution, higher accuracy, new applications with wafer sense to enable them by higher yield and throughput. So a lot of demand for our current products right now in the industries we serve and we will continue to do that.